Hey folks, welcome to another training video. The gadget that we're going to be covering today is the Dependency Tag Info Gadget, also known as the DM Tag Info Gadget. It enables us to look up information about dependency tags and also search for the dependency tags of files if we don't happen to know the tag offhand. So let's go into OU Campus and learn a little bit more. Now that I'm here, I'm going to open up my gadget sidebar to show off our gadget. This particular gadget does not exist on the dashboard. Now, when I open up the gadget at first, there really isn't that much to see. However, this search bar contains a lot of power hidden behind its simple looks. Let's start with the most basic function of the gadget, learning more about a dependency tag. Say for example, I'm editing a page inside the source editor. As I go through my edits, I'm going to probably encounter some dependency tags while I'm working in the source editor, but I don't have any way to look up the file that's being referenced by the tag within the editor. That's where this gadget comes in handy. I can copy my dependency tag in the source editor and paste it into my gadget, and it'll tell me everything I need to know about it, from what kind of file is referenced by the tag to where that file is located on the staging server, or even what files subscribe or link to this particular dependency tag. This can be extremely valuable, as it's basically the only way you can quickly look up the file associated with a dependency tag on the fly. Now in addition to using it in the source editor, you could also use it to quickly look up information about the pages that subscribe to an asset, for example, as the asset manager will list the dependency manager tags of each asset in the list view. Let's do this here as another example of this functionality. If I click on the asset name after I've searched for it in the gadget, the asset will open up so I could check it out and edit it. And the same would go for any other file that I'm revealing uh, through the gadget. Now, we just looked at how you can learn about a dependency tag's parent file if you have the tag right in front of you. What if you want to find a DM tag and all you have is the file's path or an asset's name? The search bar of the gadget can look that information up as well. So let's check it out. Since we're still in the asset manager, let's use an asset as our first example. Pretend that I'm working on a page or something and I don't have easy access to an asset's dependency tag right now. Obviously we can see it right here, but I'm going to ignore it for now. I'm going to open up my gadget and I'm going to start typing the name of one of these assets. After typing in a few words, I'll hit enter. My asset should show up in the gadget listing its detailed information including its dependency tag right here. Now notice that I didn't also have to enter the exact name of my asset to get results. Any asset matching my text string would show up as a possible match within the gadget. So, in an example where I don't remember the exact name of the asset I want, but I know it's one I use for blogs, I could type in blog, and then hit enter, and then choose which asset I really want from the results shown, and then go from there. The same process can work for other files as well. Now, let's go into the pages list view and search for some files. Here at the root of the site, if I start typing in index, the gadget will return information for the index file we see right down here. We'll see the path, subscribers, dependency tag, and more right within the gadget, just like we saw earlier with assets. Notice that I can once again click on the staging path of the file, and OU Campus will take me to the file so I can work on it if necessary. Directories also have their own dependency tags, so if I wanted to know the dependency tag for a directory, I can type in the directory name here, and the gadget will return information for it. Let's look at some more examples. If I go into the athletics directory and start typing in basketball, I'll get results for both the women's basketball and men's basketball pages. When searching for pages or directories like this, Keep in mind that the gadget will only search from the current view downwards. That's why, for example, if I search for index here, I'm going to get the index of the athletics directory only, not the index page of every other directory in the site, or the index at the root that we saw earlier. If I do want to search inside subdirectories of the current view, I'll need to start typing the path of the file starting with the directory I'm viewing. So if I wanted to know about a file in this images folder that's in my athletics directory here, 
I type images first, then a slash, and then the name of the file. Honestly though, in many situations, it will be easier to just click on the subdirectory first, then see all the files that you can choose from, and then just enter the file name. Mouse clicks are faster than typing. All right, so that covers the functionality of our dependency tag info gadget. Here's a recap of what we learned. First, the gadget is available from the sidebar only. Second, you can add a dependency tag to the gadget, and the gadget will return information about the file linked to that dependency tag. Conversely, if you want to find a dependency tag, but you only know its file name, you can enter the file name in the gadget to return its dependency tag and other info. Just remember that the results in the gadget will depend on where you start your search. You'll only see results for the current directory when typing in just a file name, and if you want to find results in subdirectories, you must type the path to the file starting with the subdirectory you're in. Now get out there and start looking up some dependency tags. You'll be surprised at how often this gadget comes in handy. Thanks for watching.